All right, guys, so I just put my hair back in a little crazy ponytail, and I wanna show you my new edges. I'm noticing that my hair is really, really growing in more. I don't know if it's because, I don't know, maybe it's just time for it to grow, or maybe because it's, I'm just noticing that it's growing. I don't know, but I have, I have traction alopecia from 2013. When I really think about it, I think I've had it since really like 2012, but I, got, I had some tree braids, this girl put these tight tree braids in my hair and just yanked my hair out of my head. So I don't do tight braids anymore around my edges. This side is not as bad, but it's still bad. So my hair was damaged. It was pulled out of my head. It was thinned. It was bald. It was neglected and it was treated badly. All right, so here goes the new hair right here, guys. You guys see that new hair? I was looking at that. Today, I see some brand new hair. But if I brush it, if I comb it back, you can still see how thin it is. But it used to be straight up bald. Traction alopecia is very, very hard to grow back. Sometimes it doesn't grow back at all. So I'm kind of surprised. On this side here, guys, look how long, this is, this is my, uh, this is one of my babies, my baby locks. So this was bald too, but it's starting to grow back normal and it's growing back at a fast speed. It was growing pretty slow, but now it's growing back fast. I don't know if it's because I've been twisting it or let my beautician uh, twist my hair for me and just keep it kind of like in a lock position. But anyway, it's, it's starting to grow really, really rapidly all of a sudden. So is it possible to get your hair to grow back? Yeah, it's a possibility. Y'all depends on how damaged your follicles are, but this is Guys, seven or eight years is taking you to get this long. I can make this into a lock. And then later on, probably, um, yeah, I can make it to a lock. It's going to be small, but let's see. Oh. Yeah, these are, these are going to be some small locks. Or I might just keep them as two strand twists. It may not ever lock up right here, guys, because as this hair grows, it's still going to be short. It's going to go in here. I don't know. Just keep people out your head, child. And that's why I, I need to do my hair. I need to shampoo my hair. My hair hasn't been shampooed in six weeks. Today is shampoo day. But am I going to shampoo today? I don't know. I usually go to the stylist at this time. I don't think I feel like her. Just been in a little funky mood lately. My job is getting on my nerves. Oh, people get on my nerves. My life get on my nerves. Anyway, <laughs> I don't want to get, I don't, I don't want to make this video negative. So let's keep it pushing. So this is what my hair looks like now in nine months. I started my locks off with two strand twist from last summer, nine months ago, July 4th. And my hair is doing pretty well. Uh, this, this is still the um, water and oil retwist. I have, I did add, I, how many times did I moisturize and seal my hair? I think I moisturized and sealed it twice or maybe three times. Two or three times within six weeks. I don't, I, guys, I don't add a lot of water. I don't add a lot of water to my hair. I don't add any water to my hair. I, I use rose water. You know how um, YouTubers always say, I spray your hair every day with water because that adds moisture. No, it dries my hair out. I don't do that. So, you know how they say spray your hair like every other day for moisture? I don't do that either. It's, not necessary. It, some people just do too much. My hair don't need, need that much attention, so I don't do all that. I oil my scalp when I think about it. I oil my uh, hair when I feel like it, and I think I've done, done that two or three times too. Yeah, I don't. I went from being a product junkie to like, I don't. I ain't doing nothing. I want to brush my hair out because my gray hair makes me think it's my dog's hair. And it could be dog hair somewhere in here, but most of this hair is gray. And I don't have much lint in my hair either. Been kind of like staying on top of it. And like I said in one of my previous videos, I don't use a lot of products in my hair, so I don't get a lot of lint. But I am really feeling this water and oil retwist. And I'm surprised my hair doesn't really smell bad. Doesn't smell bad at all. But it is time for a shampoo. So as you can see, it's trying to grow. I started my hair off with bra strap, natural um, length hair, natural hair, not natural length, but in its wet state was, I think it was bra strap or a little bit, it may have been close to mid back, 
I don't know. Uh, I don't miss my loose natural hair. I love my hair the way it is. My father called me a savage because one day I, <laughs> I went to go see him. Like You guys know he, he broke his neck last year. And so he ended up at the hospital I work at. And I was able to go visit him. And I took my hair down and let it go and shook it. Because I find myself shaking my hair. I used to always try to figure out why do Dre heads shake their hair so much. But I drake my, I, I drake. <laughs> I shake my hair a lot. And when I took my hair down, my dad said, ooh, savage. I said, yes, that's what I want to be, a savage. That's what I want to look like, a savage. No, let me stop. <laughs> Why would a female want to look like a savage? Especially at my age of 52. Well, honey, I'm 52. That don't mean I'm dead, okay? Because I have my savage ways because that's how I'm feeling. Because, baby, I had to pull out my boxing bag, my punching bag last week. Well, this week, right, because this week is still here. So, so here's a really good glimpse of my hair the little short shortness right here you can see it look, look at that right there little bitty hair and then it's little bitty right here too so where where that braid was i said this in another video but i had a braid like right here and i think when they took my braid out that ex braid extension out they snatched it along the part so that's why it's like a ball strip of hair like right here i mean just yank my damn hair out damage the follicles or something but i'm just gonna brush my hair so this brush here i got from amazon this is the what's it called diane brush this is the soft bristle one not the medium but the soft i like this little brush and yes i do i've been you can ask my followers i've been brushing my hair since uh, I was in my fourth month of me starting my locks and a lot of lock heads would tell you you don't supposed to brush you don't supposed to brush um, starter locks because they're in their starting phase but me being who I am I, I did it anyway it was a soft brush like when I was brushing it I would go like this flick flick instead of just rah, rah. And, that, and my brush was harder than oh I think I was using this brush a regular brush but it was stuff in my hair so you can brush your hair without messing up the pattern but you can't be rough do I encourage you to do it yeah if you want to shoot <laughs> so I do check for lint Ooh, see see what I'm saying I got a dog and I see dog fur flying everywhere so I'm going to brush my hair because I don't want his hair locking into my hair. And I'm not doing it any kind of rhyme or reason, you know, any kind of way, just brush the stuff out. Plus, I have to shampoo my hair too, so I don't want anything in my hair. You know what, guys? When my stylist was doing my hair, I often wondered did she see anything in my hair and just removed it? I don't remember her removing stuff out of my hair. I just remember her just twisting. So that's one cool thing about doing your own hair. You can keep up with stuff a little bit better. You can know what's going on with your head. So I don't know how to retwist, but I'm, I, think I, I think I do know how to retwist because I know how to braid and stuff. So why, why would I not know how to retwist? I mean, how, how hard can it be? We'll see, though. When are you going to do your retwist, Nancy? I have no idea, but I need to retwist it. Because I don't want it to get too bad and it, and it overwhelms me. And I'll be like, oh, my God, I waited too long. Or maybe I'll, ouch, maybe I won't retwist it. Maybe I'll just leave it like it is until fall. Because I might want to go swimming in this, uh, do I want to say COVID? Can we say COVID now since it's over? You know, YouTube didn't want you saying COVID. But COVID is over, honey. So they say, I can get in the pool with my mask on, right? I don't know. But if I retwist my hair, I can't get in the water. Who's getting in the water anyway in April? Girl. So if I did it now and then retwist my hair in six weeks, that'll be... June. So, I don't know. 
Have I considered retwisting with my um I got I done I do have an interlock tool. I thought about it, but guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, that interlocking scares me to death because I've seen so many sister locks and so many interlocks to where uh people have spaces and gaps in between their hair. You can see where they snatched just and it's just baby ball spots throughout the shaft, and I'm like that's not the look I'm going for, but who knows? I don't need no more hair stuff to snatch out of my head because I'm just now growing this hair back. So, I have not been wearing my, my baby locks lately because I've been wearing a, a bonnet to work every day. I have to wear a bonnet all day and the bonnet knocks my baby locks out of my head. And I be mad. I be hot and I be mad. I'm like, I want my baby locks. But... I can't, I can't afford for stuff to be flying around. For those who don't know, I'm a housekeeper at a hospital. And when I clean beds, stuff be flying up like, you know, oh, guys, I saw some booty peppers in a bed one day. I know y'all probably saying, what the hell is booty peppers? You know, I was telling y'all that my, my Dax hair grease smell like booty peppers. I saw some in the bed. I'm like, who let that out? They booty like that. I mean, this is so inappropriate. If you don't know me, you're going to know real quick that I'm inappropriate. <laughs> but I saw some, some, some doo-doo crust and a pepper right next to it like like a little piece of pepper didn't digest okay i'm gross so i can't have it in my locks i cannot have that in my locks so my perimeter looks crazy but it is so much fuller guys and i can make that into a lock Nancy got some edges almost. Okay, there's a big ball spot right here. <laughs> oh, Nico. Guys, so for those who don't know, I had a dog named Shay Shay. She was a pit bull boxer mix. She got killed back in December. Um, so I have videos of, about her. She, she shakes her head. She sh My dog used to shake her head so much to where she used to, sh she shook her, her ear hematoma in her, in her ear. This dog does the same thing. I don't know if it's the breed. He is so much. Nico is just like Shay Shay in so many ways. He makes me happy, but sometimes he just frustrates me. He's a little bad boy. Nico! Bark! Nico! Come here. You can't wait for me to say that. Come on up here. Up. There he is. Nico boy. He's dirty. He's got to get a bath. Oh boy! Hi, Nico. He has his own TikTok. It's under my name, Nizzy Naps. If you want to see him, I post him like I post like a video like maybe two or three times a week. I feel him just being a little puppy dog. But guys, yeah, I'm pretty excited. He helps me so much as far as um, companionship and to keep me from being sad over my Shay Shay. My name is Nico, Nico Pico, Nico, Nico Nuker. He's kind of short. I need to pull the camera down, but if I pull it down too low, uh, you might see that I don't have on any underclothes. I mean, I don't <laughs> have on any pants. He likes to stay up here. Let's see if I can get him to come up higher. Nico, hey boy, hey boy. Who that? Who that? Whoa, go <laughs> see. Go see. So, guys, this is a random video. If you had noticed, I'm trying to get back into the groove of posting my videos because I've fallen off track with my videos. This is another thing I do too with my hair. I just take my fingers and just go through it like this. I'll shake and I'll shimmy. See, his hair is flying everywhere. That's the bad thing about having animals, guys. You, you just have fur problems. Here go my butterfly locks. My camera can't see my face through my locks. But I have a strip of fat hair right here. And I couldn't figure out when I was losing the answer, why is my hair always so fat, like, in full right here? But right there, you can see the fat, uh, you can see the fatness in my locks. Do I mind that? No, I don't. I don't care. I want my locks to be as unique as possible. And I just, 
I'm at a point in my life right now, I just want my life to be so simple, so stress-free, so manageable to where I ain't got to worry about nothing. You have to worry about stuff because it's part of life, but I don't want to worry about nothing. So when I, I started my locks myself on, on the live stream, I uh, had like a porting system in the front and then I just randomly ported it any kind of way in the back. My stylist came back and said, your, 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 your two strand twists are too small. So she combined a lot. So I went from 129 likes down to somewhere around 77. So, oh, look, I got a bud on the end. It goes a little baby bud. Back in the day, I used to call them naughty balls. Do I pull this naughty ball off? Sure, why not? Hell with it. But so that's why my parts in the back, they, 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 they have a different situation. All right, guys. So uh, you know, I might, I might not even edit this video. I might let it just be, be raggedy because that's how I'm feeling. Um, I had to get outside to this week. I started planting my garden because my garden makes me happy. And Guys, my job is making me say, you know what, forget working, I'm telling you. So going outside makes me feel happy. And so I've, I've been doing things that keep me boosted up. Um, I punched my punching bag this week, and I'll probably be punching it again. Uh, I only punched it, no, I punched twice on it. But I might have to go down there today and punch on it, make me feel better. And I'm going outside, get some air. And yeah, that's about it, guys. I'm hot. I got my tree cut down. It was dead and I have no shade. So my house is hot. I don't have my air on yet cause I just don't feel like turning on. I'm watching Nico to make sure he's not panting and being hot. Ain't that right little light eye, light eye little boy. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Make sure you subscribe if you like craziness. Cause honey, you, you don't, if you don't know I'm crazy. I'm funny acting. I get in my mood and I post videos about Whatever I feel like it now. I used to post videos about nat loose natural hair and hair grease and some random vlogs. So now I post whatever I feel like it. <laughs> whatever I feel like posting and random vlogs. And uh, that's it. So sorry for the not so exciting feeling that you're getting from me. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. I ain't got no mama's baby song for, for Nico. You ain't no mama's baby. Are you my baby boy? He just wagging his tail. Love you guys, and I'll see you uh, soon. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.